Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Metamorph League. In this episode, I want to go over how to get some Chaos Resistance rings. Uh, this will help the viewer uh, with some of the best methods for the cheapest ways to get Chaos Res on rings, specifically on unset rings, because I'll explain it like this. Uh, basically, all season long, uh, everyone who's followed my build uh has wanted unset rings because i've explained that sockets are really valuable we have a limited amount of sockets and getting two more for just the cost of two implicits on rings is so powerful and so uh people i pointed out also will need chaos res tons and tons of chaos res as a necromancer where our build in our build where we don't get any on our weapon our helmet our our chest plate or our glove or our belt right so you're limited to where you can only get the chaos res either through the skill tree jewels your ammy your rings and your boots and then when you look actually down below at the nitty gritty of the build there's like no good mod you can get on the ring and so you might as well get square up the resistances and stuff with the rings um, whereas on the ammy you have the increased strength, the extra zombie, on the boots you can get fortify or increased duration, and the move speed and cannot be frozen, so many powerful mods, you can't really do that with the rings. So we make chaos res rings. So to make chaos res rings, uh, or to buy them, I'll show you two methods I use to craft my own chaos res rings, and I'll show you um trading i'll give you a bunch of different searches you can do and a bunch of things different things to look for and uh ways to turn what you would think is a bad base but or a decent base into like the god item and you're like how did that happen and it's like weird things that are from this new season new league all right now on to the rings the rings are the fun part i think of the build so it's pretty simple. You have these rings. Item level 82 or higher is my goal because 82 for max strength, uh, 81 for max chaos uh, when crafting. I like to grab aberrant fossils with these one socket resonators and I'll use the thing to showcase how I just rolled aberrant fossil one socket and got 20% chaos res. And on this one, it's junk. But you can see the results. Pretty funny that we've already hit Chaos Res once. So give me a second here. Okay, so I have 10. Boom! We got 36 fire. We got 54 strength. Okay. This one. 24 chaos, 63 life, 16 all res. So, like, a couple good annuls would turn this into a miracle. Because if you hit the chaos damage leech's life or the mana regeneration rate. We hit the life. That's really bad. It's basically dead, but if we hit mana regen or the chaos damage leech's life, okay. You have two open prefixes, so you can craft life, <clears throat> and you can go, um, and you can slam a redeemer. So this is where I was going with this. If you have an open prefix after the fact of a craft, you can slam a redeemer exalted orb just like we did for the weapon. Um, and that will get and that you you can get minions deal increased damage on a ring on a as a prefix, which normally the minions deal increased damage ring from the delving is a suffix. <clears throat> I'll show you. I have one because I was maybe going to do something with it. As you can see, suffix of the underground, 35% increased damage. You go from this and you slam onto this something else that isn't minion damage. And you have a god ring because you could do a curse plus minions deal increased damage if you were only going for damage. Pretty interesting. But yeah, um, we have a really cool ring here. I'm just going to craft life on it and say good to go. You know? Okay. The next one. So you kind of want at least chaos because that's the goal that that was the main intent of what you're doing here. So the point is that you could grab multiple of these bases. They only cost one C. Aberrant fossils are super cheap. One socket resonators are super cheap. You increase your chance of hitting chaos. Um, you don't have to use aberrant. You can also use uh, alterations and transmutations and all that. So we'll do seven more. 
Oh, good. We got 43 life, cold res plus 3. Mm hmm. Looking for that sweet, sweet chaos. No. 46 strength, 70 life. Almost. It's like really good. <laughs> and 29 chaos, 41 cold, 55 max mana. Holy shit. Okay, hit the annul. <clears throat> Actually, you could just protect the suffixes if you don't want to annul here, but I'll do the annul. Okay, so you have open suffix, open prefix. Holy shit, dude. That's the ring. There it is. This was literally showing you how to get my ring. Look, cold, chaos, and then crafted life and added the aspect. It's literally my ring. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. Except for the 28ES. I literally crafted my ring. And it, it's just missing the extra quality, which would take it up to the exact resistance amounts. Holy shit, dude. There it is. Yeah, so that's how I craft my stuff. And uh, the alternative is you can also just look for Chaos Res rings on trade. And then craft on them, add to them, add the aspect of the avian, add life, uh, redeems or uh, redeemer exalted orb slam if you want to add the extra minion damage as a prefix. Uh, there's a ton of options and ways to upgrade really shitty bases to insane items with very little investment, and the the results are almost guaranteed. This league's really easy to make powerful items. It's kind of insane. And just in case that wasn't clear, uh, I bought those for 1C. I rolled a few aberrant on them, and I guarantee I can sell those for at least an X. At least an X. Easily. No issue. Because they look so good, don't they? And then if you do the full complete Warlord's Exalted Orb Slam, maybe... I mean, the sorry, uh, Redeemer Orb Slam, you go, like, way higher to cover the cost of the Slam. And then you, if you go... Um, if you get the crazy minion damage, your ring's a lot, like, really expensive. Yeah. you don't. I don't think you need to do all that. That's the rings. That's the Ami. That's the weapon. Um... So I mentioned I've done the first method of um, using <clears throat> aberrant fossils to roll the chaos resistance. The other method is to uh, alteration spam on an item level 82 unset ring until you get chaos resistance. Uh, if it's by it, okay, so 11 is, is really bad. We're going to go for higher. I want at least 20 probably, at least like 24 if we can. Um, and so this is a really easy way of getting chaos resistance on the rings in a way that's uh, going to be um, easily upgradable and craftable towards uh, some really nice rings. Uh, this will just take some time because chaos resistance is actually pretty rare. There we go, 32%. We hit it with max mana 5, uh, tier 5, and now we're going to regal. And we hit 41% cold res. So this is literally the god ring to match. Uh, you see how we have 49, 31. This is 32, 41. And it doesn't even have the quality for the extra um, resistances yet. There you go. That's how you make a ring through, um, through alterations. The only uh, problem with this is that it has mana. So this is more of a mana guardian chaos res ring. Um, not so much... Um, ours we could annul the mana craft on life and another prefix and then uh slam the redeemer because so the multi is going to take three of them and then you slam on the extra prefix for maybe the chance at minion damage since we have the high enough item level to hit uh minion damage minion steal increased damage and i want to show how to buy these on trade so uh I'll take that away. Um, this is the first search. So to do your own crafting, I buy a ring, rare, one socket. You can even search unset ring. Item level 82 higher uh, or higher. Uh, this is for the highest tier strength. Uh, I mean, the highest tier. 
It was actually for just in case you roll strength. Because it doesn't... Yeah, because we still do want strength. Main reason is 81 for Chaos Res, 82 for highest tier strength. Um, and then you search this, and there's a billion results, and they're like so cheap. So the crafting base is super cheap. Now from here, uh, if you wanted to buy an already roll like crafted base, search with... Um, it's 31 Chaos Res with a one of these, 40 Cold or 40 Lightning with one socket. These are what I found. 34 Chaos, 40 Cold, Life, ready to be multied, and an extra Slam, or an extra Slam. Uh, this one, no open anything, so you could Slam some of Nulls, hit some of, the, some of this stuff. Corrupted, hit some of Nulls, craft on some stuff you want. Hit some of nulls, maybe slime the redeemer orb, etc. So you can see these are really cheap and really easy to do. You just have to try some of nulls here. Uh, you could just craft life, slime the redeemer's exalted orb on this, and it would be a god ring, but it has lightning res. Did I search lightning or did I search? Oh, I meant to search fire at 40. And there you go. That would be the method 60 results. Yeah. There you go. Tons of options of rings to buy and annul and turn into actual rings for the build. Enjoy it. I'll leave the link to this and the other one. I had the theory as if people didn't want resistance on their rings so they want some stats, some attributes, search. You can do the same thing with attributes. So you can have Chaos Res 51 int, this one Chaos Res dex, Chaos Res int, Chaos Res dex, and int. So you can do a lot of options here. This is what I'm trying to show you. It's not as clear cut as you would think. There's so many options for what you could do for your rings. I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm helping. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my 51 subs on Twitch and uh, my Patreon and YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys so much. And uh, thank you, Tradnix, Hannah, Steven C, Les, Fable, Stacey, you, Boggy, White Wolf, Tradnix, uh, YouTube members, Garbar, Tradnix, White Wolf, Arkbone, Kerbe, John, Lelouch, Lampru, Dawid, Dubu, Goose Eggs, and Gabriel. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!